fight against the communal spread of the coronavirus in Kano State is becoming more heightened every day. The state government is concerned about the rapid spread of the virus in the state, which now has the second highest number of positive cases in the country. TVC News correspondent Ibrahim Issa monitors the latest move by the government in curbing the spread. It has been an uphill battle since the coronavirus broke out on Kano. Slowly, gains are being made. Members of the Kano State Task Force on COVID-19, members of the Ministerial Task Force on COVID-19 in Kano, Governor Abdullahi Ganduja and other stakeholders in the fight against the coronavirus in Kano converged to brief the media on the achievements so far. This time, the numbers on the high table are complete with the recovery of the co-chair of the task force, Commissioner for Health and other members from the COVID-19. They tested positive more than five weeks ago and were isolated. The briefing began with a testimony from the co-chair Abdurazak Habib, as he recounted how he overcame the virus. By traditional, including hydroxychloroquine, erythromycin, ascorbic acid, zinc, rosefin, and malarial supplementation at some point, uh, potassium supplementation regularly, and also flexate are regularly daily. Uh, in addition, I've used and uh, they've administered leaves for me, several liters of leaf. Uh, I was Shock transiently uh, and also oxygen by nasal bronx. Uh, my oxygen patient was sort of low, uh, they supplemented it. The briefing continued with the Ministerial Task Force on COVID 19, touching on the issue of the mysterious death recorded in the state. The task force wants the state government to empower and encourage Nigerian based scientists to develop and make clinical trials of the coronavirus vaccine locally. The issue of identifying the causes of death in the state. We have seen similar patterns across the north, and we've therefore activated a multi state uh, study investigation process. So, while the lessons being learned from Kano are very, very important for most of other states, some of them have already started while we're making a very slow, snail speed progress. We have brilliant scientists in Nigeria that have quickly identified our own virus. They have already identified our virus that caused the first incident in Nigeria, characterized the virus, and can use that virus to develop vaccine. So our government should start empowering our scientists. Kano State government has embarked on a series of trainings for health workers from various cadres of the profession. The move, according to the government, is to equip them with the necessary skills to efficiently stem the ongoing communal spread of the virus in Kano State. Another important area that we have achieved a lot, that is the training of frontline health personnel. There has been a significant progress in the fight against COVID-19 over the last two weeks in Kano. Kano still still maintains second in the highest number of coronavirus cases in Nigeria, but the government believes measures put in place to curtail the virus will soon yield more results. Authorities in Kano State say more health workers will be trained in the coming days to work at the state isolation centers and communities. That, according to the government, would help mitigate the communal spread of the virus in Kano State. Ibrahim Issa, TVC News, Kano.